Hi, uh, my name is Elsie. I'm the president of Northumbria University's Horror Society. I'm back again with another tutorial. Um, this week I wanted to try and do a black and white sort of look. Um, I wanted to do this because I don't have any foundation, so it's really difficult for me to do anything which doesn't require a white base or a coloured base. And I figured this was a good way to get around that. So I'm starting off by just laying down a basic white all over my face and neck. If I had thought about it a bit more, I might have done my hands as well and my arms from what I end up wearing. But it's <laughs> when you do it, if you do it, do you remember your hands? Um, I'm then taking a light grey and I'm going over all the places in my face where I would contour if I was doing my makeup. So, oops, sneezing into my elbow, don't spread diseases. <laughs> Topically, corona. But uh, yeah, I'm using the light grey around my temples and under my cheekbones, under my jaw and my nose. I, this is actually my second time recording this voiceover because the first time, um, well, for context, I'm in the room with the baby quails in this house and they're letting her fly and I was just almost finished with the voiceover then all of a sudden a quail went flying over my head so I had to go and put it away again. Um, so yeah, so now I'm taking a dark grey and I'm going in and I'm trying to darken everywhere that I've done the light grey. Um, just add a little bit more of a shadow in. I actually can't tell if I'm using... I'm going to be using a black there. Oh, I don't know why I thought I was using a darker grey. Anyway, uh, yeah, darkening all the contours. I'm doing this because I'm going to wear a black wig later on and those contours I want to disappear into the wig. One good bit of advice here is um, if you're struggling to blend things, like I was a little bit just there, don't wet your sponge. The drier your sponge, the better. Um, I think what I end up doing is, yep, I get a little bit of white and on my um, sponge and then I go back over all the light spots on my face because this white face paint isn't very good. Um, I definitely had a white snazaroo face paint, which is what the rest of them are, but I just don't know where it is. It doesn't, con it doesn't like interact very well with the other face paints and it also isn't as opaque, isn't good at building a colour. So what I was doing there is to hide mistakes, I was using the white to blend a thing together. Here I am now going to be doing my eyebrows, I think. Yes, so I'm using um, just some black face, oh no, I'm using black eyeshadow and an eyeshadow brush to do this. Um, it was really scary because <laughs> I'm not very good at doing my eyebrows anyway and they're not that symmetrical. Um, I think it looks okay in the end. I was actually intending originally to use a combination of face paint and eyeshadow, but when I went to use the face paint I realised how harsh that would look, so instead I just laid up the eyeshadow to look darker towards um, the parts which I wanted to look thicker. Um, I then go around the entire outline of my eyebrow with some white, yep, to, you know, hide any of the mistakes I made, as well as to try and highlight my eyebrow. I'm pretty sure this is a real eyebrow technique, like for real makeup, but I, I don't do this normally. <laughs> awesome. So I went ahead off camera and did my other eyebrow, or started it at least. Um, I'm doing the exact same thing again. I was, it was harder the second time doing my eyebrow because, you know, you do the first one, it looks okay, cool. You go to the second one and you realise you have to match the first one and that's much <laughs> more difficult. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to finish off my eyebrow and I'll probably go back around it with the Y again, though I'm not actually sure I recorded myself doing that. But I, for sure, yeah, I'm going back through and darkening both sides to make them match. Don't be afraid to go back and forth. I do it literally all the time. Every face paint look I do. Um, I think it's part of the process. I know a lot of tutorials who watch on YouTube, these people seem flawless. They just, you know, bish bash bosh, one after the other, they get the steps done. But, I mean... in it happens that you mess something up or you're not happy with something or you have a better idea about something so you go back over it all. 
Um, so yeah, now I'm taking a black eyeshadow. I've done one eye off camera. I'm putting in the shadow of my eyelid crease as well as trying to create a cat eye look by contouring the shape. I'm basically trying to make my eyelids look bigger. I'm doing that by trying to put more black eyeshadow towards a corner above my eye and then um, brushing it inwards, fading it in towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but <laughs> just watch me on the camera. I'm pretty sure it becomes clearer. I'm now um, just going back in and evening both sides up. I don't know how this turned out so well on camera because it's just not how it looks in real life when I try and do this with my real makeup. Um, I'm now using that same eyeshadow to just lightly go underneath my eyelashes, of my, you know, my bottom eyelashes. I'm doing this to try and split up the whites of my eyes with the white face paint off my cheeks, otherwise my eyes sort of blend into my cheeks. Um, oh yeah, so I have this random pot of glitter gel, which I don't know why we have that at Horror Society. Um, I think we bought it so that if we ever did any more face painting events and somebody was like, oh, I don't want a huge thing, but I'd like some glitter, we had some. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to use this on my eyelid, but then I instantly remembered as I put it on my face, it doesn't dry. Um, so I'm using a picture of me and Ruby, the vice president, um, to try and dry that off a little bit so it doesn't stick together. It was really irritating as well because it must be water-based, the product, because it picked up and mixed together the face paint on my eyelid. Uh, I definitely wouldn't use it next time if I did this again. Uh, now I am just going in with some black face paint to create some eyeliner. I'm not very good at eyeliner, but I tried <laughs> to make them symmetrical. I would have used real eyeliner if I had any, but um, desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm trying to follow the uh, basic shape of the eyeshadow I put down to, you know, try and draw more attention to my eyes because I want them to be the focus of the look. Oh God, I've got to do this one. <laughs> I'm pretty certain I messed up the side and then went back and forth, thickening each side up till they matched. Yeah, see, there we go. All right, so now I'm just putting on some mascara. Um, this is just a random Urban Decay one I had in my bag. You can use any mascara you don't even need mascara if you don't want it I would have put on false eyelashes as well if I found could find them basically <laughs> I just wasn't sure where they were in my room so I decided to leave them off for this all right there's my boyfriend just coming into shop for a couple of seconds um so now I'm going to do my mouth. I think I decided to use a dark like mixture of the light grey and the black because I didn't want to have a completely black lipstick and I didn't want it to blend into my mouth either. So I'm just using a brush to do that, which was a bit harder than I expected. I don't know. I feel like when I put makeup on, when I put lipstick on rather with an actual lipstick, you naturally move your mouth in a way that helps... Uh, apply it in a natural looking way but doing it with a brush it was <laughs> really weird especially as well because I couldn't see the natural color of my lips underneath the white face paint so I was going off of what I thought would look good um kind of like painting a blank doll I think it looked okay I was struggling to get them even for a while my top lips um I really went too far on them I think I actually went in and fixed them eventually which again to fix isn't too hard when it's face paint face paint's water soluble so you can use either a bit like you know a baby wipe or something will take it off or just a, like a wet piece of cloth or um you know just 
just wetting your fingers works too. I think what I ended up doing was I removed my top lip and then I went back over with the white face paint all over there. Then I drew it back on until I was happy with it. I think we're getting... Yeah, there we go. I'm just going around with the white face paint. Um, because that white face paint really is just bleeding through. You can see my skin bleeding through it here, but <laughs> it was the best I could do. Um, yeah, so I put the wig on. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, I thought that would be the end of the video there, so I start to say goodbye in a couple seconds. There we go. Finger guns. Love heart. There we go. But it's not, because I looked at it and decided that I actually wanted to darken some of the contours. As I mentioned earlier, um, I wanted them to sort of fade into the wig. Um, I had intended earlier to use some of the black eyeshadow on a contour brush to do this, but I just forgot. Um, so I went back and did it now. This is where I made a mistake. I did my nose, which I shouldn't have done because it made me look like I had a broken nose. There we go. <laughs> well, we all make mistakes. Um, I think I realise about now that I might have gone a bit too far in, in a little bit. I know I go back over it with a little bit of white. So again, you can fix anything with a little bit of white face paint. Um, if I did this again in future, I would get a different white <laughs> for starters to try and fix that. And I would also paint my hands. Oopsie. Because otherwise you can't have your hands in any of the photographs, which is irritating. Uh, yeah, see, I'm just going over it trying to blend that in a little bit. Which doesn't look great, but it's, it's better than what it was. Alrighty, so that's the end. Uh, this is a photo which I edited my neck to make it less see-through. I hope you liked it. Subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I'll upload another one next week.